Hey everyone, welcome back to CSS tutorial for complete beginners. Today we're going to learn about how to design a button in HTML using CSS. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So first we're going to open Visual Studio Code. And if we open Visual Studio Code, as you can see here, we're going to type this and going to give the HTML structure. And into this HTML structure will come from the body. And to the body, we can simply create a button. I'm going to name it as button class or uh, container. And then I'm going to give the angular brackets. And into the button, we can simply create click me. Then we're going to save it, everything. And now we're going to open the live server. And as you can see in our right side, our website showing a click me button over here. So now we're going to design it. So for that, what we're going to do, first I'm going to make the Visual Studio code in my left side and make the website into my right side. And now we're going to go for the CSS. Before going to the CSS, we need to come over into our head section and going to link the CSS. For that, I'm going to, or I can simply give the name over here, style.css going to save everything and now we're going to come come over into our style.css so first we're going to come up work with the body section so for that i'm going to type here body and then going to give the curly brackets because i want to make this uh, button into into our center so for that i'm going to use a very important tag it's called display and i'm going to use it as flex we're going to save it and then I'm going to use the justify content. So for that, justify content, I'm going to use center. Save it. And as you can see, it's not showing into the center, but in the top side. I, I want to make it, it's come into the uh, center. So for that, I'm going to use the align, alignment items. So for that, I'm going to use center. And I'm going to save it. And then give the height 100vh going to save it and as you can see right now it's in the middle so next we're going to go for the margin and the margin should be zero and then i'm going to look for the background color so for the background color i'm going to use black because it will suit so i'm going to now save it and as you can see that the whole website is looking like black and now it's the button showing over here so now we will going to work with the button. So for that, as we know what we name it, we name it as container. So I'm going to use the container. Give the curly brackets. Into the curly brackets, I can simply use border, border radius. And for the better border radius, I'm going to use 5 pixel. And then I'm going to use the cursor. For the cursor, I can simply give the pointer. Then I'm going to look for the font size and the font size should be 16 px. After we're going to use some transition. So for that, I'm going to use the transition attribute and then we're going to give it a 0 0.3 second. Then we're going to save it. And as you can see, now our button is looks like this. After we're going to use the hover. So for that, I'm going to use the hover. So, give hover over here. Give the curly brackets. And into the curly brackets, we can simply give the background color. And for the background color, I'm going to use 056B3. That's it. I'm going to save it. And now whenever you put your cursor on it, as you can see, it's changing the color. So before that, I'm going to add a container and I'm going to give a color over here to give a background color. So for that, I'm going to give the background color over here and then I'm going to give it, I'm going to save it right now. So as you can see, it now looks like this. So let's give it as uh, this color to save. Okay. Now all things okay. And if I just save it, as you can see right now, our button is showing over here. Whenever you just uh, put your cursor on this click me button, as you can see, it's changing the hover color. Also, we can change uh, the background color from the body. You can simply give it as white. 
and you can simply save it so now you can simply see the what your buttons looks like so yeah this is how you can simply create a html button for your website and you can simply customize it by using css thank you so much for watching this video i hope to see you for another videos till then goodbye